we made some prototypes. Here we have the original thing. Here we have a prototype made of nylon. The shape is by thermoforming. A slightly bigger size made with rapid prototyping and a human size also with rapid prototyping. With these prototypes we made force measurements, focusing on how hairs attach and detach, trying to understand mechanisms. In doing so, we identified six shape effects, but before that, let's talk about the minimum energy path. The first thing I did is to observe how the pad attaches and detaches. Soon it became obvious that attaching a pad was easy, but if one wanted to detach the pad by making the least effort, a rotation motion was always involved. Then it became apparent that if a rotation is involved, using moments must simplify the force analysis. Thus, by using moments, the detachment and attachment conditions are straightforward. Under a load, the hair will remain attached if the adhesion moment is bigger than the load moment. And the hair will release if the release moment is bigger than the adhesion moment. So, once we know that, it doesn't take rocket science to realize that moments depend on the footprint shape. Thus, we talk about the first property we identified in magnetic hair. The footprint effect. This graph compares two hairs of the same area footprint. Y-axis is the force measured by the gauge. Since the length of the hair is constant, the y-axis is equivalent to measure a moment acting on the footprint also. X is the rotation at the hair-free extreme. As you can see, a circular footprint has a symmetrical behavior. A triangular footprint can hold more load and needs less force to be released. So the advantage of a triangular shape is evident. The lever effect. The longer the hair, the easier to detach by rotation. In the case of magnets, a rotation of 20 degrees will cause an adhesion drop of 50%. Once the magnet has rotated, it is much easier to detach. This mechanism reduces the peak forces needed for a successful detachment. A and B represent two different approaches to surface roughness adaptability. This is compliance. When the adhesion force range is small as compared to the average roughness, adequate compliance becomes increasingly important to achieve good adhesion. A, a rigid solid, is not compliant, thus causing some areas of the body to press too much, while some other areas are ineffective because they are too far away from the substrate. The overall adhesion is low. In B, all hairs make contact gently due to the cantilever effect. Peeling motion. Uh, it is known that geckos detach from surfaces by peeling motion. The only difference with uh, magnetic hair is the direction of the peeling, which is contrary. The point of peeling is that if during load, Face. Uh, all hairs pull coordinately and peeling is by contrary one by one, then we have that the performance coefficient as we defined before is proportional, inversely proportional to the number of hairs. This graph shows the instant tangential stiffness of two hairs, a millimeter hair and a centimeter hair centimeter hair data is uh, normalized. Uh, the graph shows that the tangential stiffness increases abruptly when the hair passes from a tension state to a compression state. This is useful because stiffer hairs are easier to detach than softer ones, same as a chewing gum. This effect can be clearly felt 
if you grip the hair by, by hand. A is a hand sized magnetic hair. B is a pad, a prototype which is basically a stripped down version of a magnetic hair where we trade off compliance for manufacturing cost. We can understand better the importance of uniform load distribution if we compare a gecko branching structure with a suboptimal design such as of B. A pad is not designed to distribute moments generated by a load evenly to the adhesion units. On the contrary, a gecko structure seems naturally designed to distribute loads and moments uniformly. This seems safer and enhances performance. Now let's review the six mechanical properties we just saw. They all seem geared towards one common goal, energy efficiency. Now let me show you a bit in detail about the magnetic pad. It is formed by a holder, a flexible support and magnet units. The flexible support provides enough compliance to adapt to round surfaces. On the left we have a peeling sequence with magnetic pad. And this is a man testing the pads. The performance of the system approaches 1%. So which are the target application? Well, the most obvious answer is iron surfaces that need maintenance but are not easily accessible. Thanks a lot for your attention very much and if you have further questions after the Q&A, I'll be happy to answer them by phone or email.